up, family? How you guys doing today? I am here with Milky Tech, and today I'm going to show you some simple ways to protect your cyber sales. With us always using technology, cyber security and cyber protection becomes a thing that we have to actively think about. I'm going to show you in this video about five ways that I do to keep myself protected from these thugs. If you guys enjoy this type of content, smash that like and hit subscribe. It helps out the channel greatly. And all links will be in the description below. So let's go over my first recommendation. My first recommendation is get a VPN. A VPN or a virtual private network is a way to encrypt your information. The way a VPN works is it makes a secure connection between your computer and the VPN server. And that secure connection, hackers, government, other you know, internet people, they can't read it. Their servers changes your IP address and changes your geolocation so that when it connects to whatever site you're trying to visit, they don't know where you are and where you came from. It is all private and it's all secure. This way they can't spy on you. From the VPN server, it connects you to whatever site you're trying to visit. Now, this does slow down your connection speed by a bit because you're going through extra hoops. However, sometimes some sites or uh, ISPs and their service providers will throttle your speed based on their demand and usage. Or sometimes there's a war happening between ISP A and website B. So ISP decides to throttle the speed to that website. So when you're connected, it's all slow and sluggish. Having a VPN, now the ISP doesn't know where you're really going and you get the full speed. And also, sometimes you're trying to get some flights cheaper or you're trying to watch some shows that are streaming in one country but not in your country, a VPN will allow you to be in that country, at least digitally. So so that you know you can watch whatever show from that country or you can change your geolocation so when you're trying to book a flight sometimes booking it from the destination is cheaper than booking it from where your actual location is so that helps to save a pretty penny and the vpn that i use is pia i've been using it for a while i like their security and simplicity to use and the fact that they're open about what they're doing they delete your data they protect and encrypt your data so that's what i've been using for years and that's why i recommend Link for it will be in the description below. The next thing that I like to do is change the DNS, the domain name system. Think of it as a library. Whenever you go into the library and you try to find a book, there is a number on it that tells you where that book is. Same thing with the internet. When you try to connect to YouTube and watch my video, there is a specific IP address. Well, you don't know that IP address to watch it, but you do know that to connect to YouTube, it's youtube.com. So you just type it in and that will match the IP address based on the DNS. So using the DNS from the IPS might not be the best thing to use because there are other DNSs that are faster and more secure. You could use Google's DNS. However, the one that I like to use is Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 is the fastest DNS you can get. It is the most secure. They do not keep any of your information and once you leave, they delete your information. And they've been audited by some of the biggest auditing companies to make sure that they are in compliance. So that's why I use them. Using a VPN and a DNS encrypts your data from A to B. Setting up a DNS is fairly simple. You can either set it up at the router level so you don't have to change any of your devices. But if you're anything like me, you do use your devices outside. So you can set it up in Windows to always contact Cloudflare's DNS instead of just using whoever's DNS. This way, you're always having the fastest connection and you're always encrypted. And I will show you how easy it is to set up a DNS right now. The first thing I like to do is I like to go to the Cloudflare website so I can get the IP address. You just type in 1.1.1.1, click on DNS, scroll down, and you'll have all the different ways to set it up. On iPhone and Android, they have a little app. On Mac OS, they tell you exactly how to do it. And they have some videos here. And for the router, it shows you how to do it as well. We're doing Windows, so we'll go to Windows. Then I like to open up Control Panel. We'll go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing, and Change Adapter Setting. Then you go to your Network Adapter, whether it's your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi. For me, it's Wi-Fi. Click on Properties, and then two things you want to change is the IPv4 and IPv6. You click on IPv4, click Properties, and then you go down here. Normally, it will be selected here as Automatic. You want to click on Use the Following DNS. 
as you can see here, I already have this set up because this is how I do it. So you put it for the preferred DNS server 1.1.1.1. And for the alternate server, just in case the server does go down, you put 1.0.0.1 and hit OK. Then you go to IPv6, same thing, hit properties. You go down here and you type in this uh, addresses or you just copy and paste it. Hit OK, close and then your DNS is changed. And I'll have a link for this website in the description below. The next thing that I like to have on all my devices is a nice security suite. A security suite offers many benefits. The most basic security suite will have like an antivirus, anti-malware, and a firewall. An antivirus, anti-malware, this is what it says it is. It uses the latest definitions to find virus or malware or worm or whatever it is. Delete it and keep you secure. A firewall monitors and blocks incoming and ongoing traffic from your computer. This way, if a hacker try to come in, well, it will block him from coming in. And there's some other security suites will also offer VPNs and DNSs and everything else. So if you get a complete suite, it is basically a one-stop shop. Now, I have some options for you guys, some paid options and some free options. But first, let me tell you to avoid these two companies. They're free, but AVG and Avast sell your information. So if you're trying to protect your privacy, it's really isn't a good idea to go with these two companies. Now, some security suites that I've used, I've used Webroot, Kaspersky, and Bitdefender. All great companies. Trend Ma Macro and Kaspersky also offer really good free security suites. But me personally, I am okay with just using the Windows Defender that comes with Windows. It's always updated and it's not bad. The next two things I like to do is having good passwords and two-factor authentication. Having a good password makes it harder for hackers to break into your account and having a two-factor authentication will protect you from people who break your password but now they need a code from your phone or from an authenticator app which they can't get it protects your account from being hacked because you know this is it to your phone and your phone is always on you unless they took your phone then um i'm sorry about that that's uh it's not a good day. And changing the password and having different passwords for every account is difficult since we have a lot of accounts. But having a password like dog1234 explanation for it, it's, it's an easy password to hack. And if you have that same password across all your accounts, well, now they have all your information in all your accounts. It's good to have different passwords for different accounts, especially for your important accounts. A password manager will come in really handy in this case. A password manager will store and save your password on a secure cloud or a secure disk, like a thumb drive or something, and will require that to log into all of your accounts. Now, the one that I use is I use the built-in Google one. What I like about it is it has a single button that will put a very hard password to hack and it will save it for you. And doing so will ensure you to always have all your passwords on you wherever you go. Now there are other password managers that are out there that are paid. You can use softwares like Dashlane or LastPass to store your password, but of course they have a fee. The last tip I have for you guys is good browsing habits. If a website looks kind of fishy, it usually probably is, and you really shouldn't click on that link. If somebody you don't know sends you something, try not to click on it. It's usually they're trying to steal some kind of information from you. You know, use common sense. Try not to go to websites that are bad for you. Some other websites too. Only go to reputable websites. If you do that, the risk of you of getting hacked or getting some kind of software on your computer that you really don't want goes down by a lot. I know sometimes we're trying to find that one bit of information or that's one free PDF, but is it worth it? And there you guys have it, the things that I do to keep myself safe from other cyber thugs. If you guys do other things to protect yourself, please drop it in the comments below. This will help somebody else out. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified when I release my next video. If you guys have a question, a comment, or want to say hello, what's up, drop it in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.